Randy Dobnak wears many hats, our favorite of which has the Twin Cities on it. And he and his wife, Ariel, kind enough to take some time with us on MLB Central this morning with Robert Flores, Mark DeRosa. I'm Lauren Shahadi. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for being with us. Morning. Thanks. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Dero always says this to Robert and I. He says, before you get to the big leagues, like you've lived nine lives. It's such a journey. And nobody is that more true than for you, Randy, from Cooper Driver to game two of the ALDS and everything in between. When you look back, Randy, at last year and those moments in time, what comes to mind? Yeah, uh, last, last year was just uh, insane. Uh, I can't really find words to describe what it was like, but the whole entire year was just crazy to think about. We'll sit down and think about it once on be like do you realize exactly what happened last year and we're like honestly i, don't, I have no idea how it happened or, or what happened but i'm glad it happened and in the middle of it Ariel, you're, you're trying to plan a wedding congratulations by the way most people for a wedding gift you know ask for a toaster or a plate or cookware you guys are asking that people keep in mind your friends from saint jude's hospital yes thank you um yeah we started getting gifts and we realized that we didn't need all the gifts that we had put on our registry. And um, so we just came up with a better way to have people donate, um, you know, and that was to St. Jude. Randy, you and Ariel also had a, uh, a video conference call with one of the patients there from uh, St. Jude's Hospital recently. Tell us about that. Yeah, so we had a, a video conference call with um, Brody and his mom, Lisa, from St. Jude's. He's a, pa he's a patient there. Um, and they reached out to us about just kind of like connecting with him. And um, we ended up just talking about like, we, ha we heard about his story, um, which is pretty emotional for both of us. And then uh, me and him basically just talked baseball. Um, I kind of related to him somehow because he started when he was like five, I was four. Um, he he'd been playing since, you know, he was um, going to Cooperstown to play there. And I played there when I was 12 as well. And just kind of connecting with him through just through baseball and kind of relating that to life and how like, you know, there's going to be struggles, uh, but you're, you're going to get through it if you can just believe in yourself. Hey, hey Randy and Ariel, can you show, we can, the bottoms of your shirts are cut off. I want to make sure everybody sees it. <laughs> what does that rep, what does that represent? Is that from St. Jude? Yeah. So when we were able to have, um, take a tour of St. Jude in January, um, we had cameras following us around and they were taking pictures and um, we actually got to go um, do a little food and they gave us these shirts. Um, and so Randy did a little um, clip kind of advertising the shirt and how, um, you know, buying the shirt um, raised money for St. Jude. So you can actually take a picture of the shirt on your phone um, and it basically has an outline um, with a code that all someone has to do if they see us with our shirt on is take a picture of it and it'll bring up the direct link um, on St. Jude's website and then um, they can purchase the shirt or donate that way. Wow. Kind of, kind of jump, uh, jumping off that, I know once you go into St. Jude, the pressure and, and, and what those families have to deal with on a daily basis, but getting back to kind of the baseball a little bit, Randy, signing at an independent ball, I mean, myself coming up through the minor leagues, played with a lot of guys who come out of independent ball, they get to maybe make one mistake in the minor leagues and it's potentially getting released or replaced on a roster. How, how are you able to approach kind of that pressure or, or did you not think of it that way yeah so getting signed an indie ball you know like you said you kind of like a chip on your shoulder like if you make any mistakes you're like all right we'll just get a, get another guy in there uh, but for me I just kind of treat it like you know I'm going to control what I can control um, and whatever happens outside of that you know I don't have control over that so whatever happens happens and that's just kind of how the way I've lived my life um, I kind of just believe in myself I trust in myself and I try to control what I can control and good things can happen from that. Randy, among the things that you, uh, you had to deal with, as you mentioned, the playoffs last year, getting to pitch game two in the Bronx against the Yankees. Looking back, uh, what are your memories and thoughts uh, from that experience? Yeah, that was, that's insane to think about, you know, because you think about postseason baseball and you, the pinnacle of that is, you know, pitching in the Bronx and the po like during the postseason. So, for me, just to get that opportunity, you know, two years out, outside of indie ball, um, it, I mean, it's a dream come true. It's just insane to think about. Um, but, you know, that's that's like the top of the line for postseason baseball. So, really glad I got that opportunity. I hope I get another chance at it. 
We talk to so many players and they say Yankee Stadium's just different. Is that the case? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they call, it, they call it the jungle for a reason. But uh, <laughs> I loved it. I mean, it's awesome. The fans are always, you know, they're into it. Sometimes they're not really for you, but I mean, <laughs> as, as sometimes. A player, yeah, as a player, you kind of, you kind of feed off that. So, you know, they're just yelling at you, saying all kinds of crazy things. You know, I don't let that stuff kind of bother me. I kind of like that, you know, because it's like, you know, they're rooting against me. So if I, you know, if I'm going to go out there and do what I can do and good things are going to happen from it, you know, it's kind of like a, you know, sucks to be you kind of thing because, you know, it's like you, you're yelling at me and saying all these things and I got there and, you know, do well. So it's kind of like a shot in the face, but it, it was pretty awesome. Hey, Randy, I wanted to ask you, I never played for a manager who was like right around my age that I could kind of relate to. Give give Take me inside the clubhouse. Like, how does Rocco Ball Del Deli, obviously manager of the year last year, how has he kind of made it so special for you guys? Yeah, um, he kind of relates to all the players, you know, because he's, you know, he's younger. So he kind of like, he knows, you know, what we're kind of going through. Um, and just the way he talks to everybody, it's almost like you've known the guy your whole life. Like, when I first got called up, I hadn't really known much about him because, you know, I've, it was my second full season, so I didn't really know what I was doing. I just knew that I was trying to focus on playing well where I was, which is in Fort Myers to start with. And I started jumping up and up and up. And once I got to like AAA, I, I hadn't, I didn't know anybody on the team because I hadn't played with any of those guys. So once I got up there, you know, he's, he stabbed me down in his office. We had a little conversation for like five minutes, you know, kind of meeting him, I guess, but he's, he's really relatable to all the players. You know, it's kind of like a chilled out clubhouse. Um, and he understands the grind of a whole entire season. So if there's going to be some days off, he'll let guys, you know, come in late, not come in late, but like, we'll have like a late clubhouse get in later so we can like sleep in and rest and recovery and stuff like that. But overall, he just, he relates to the players really well. And I think that's something that's really special for the team. Randy, you guys had a big uh, off-season signing, the free agent signing of Josh Donaldson. I know you guys weren't together for very long before mm -hmm. things got put on hold, but what was your sense of, of, the, of the energy of the clubhouse, specifically the one uh, that, that, that was brought by Josh Donaldson? Yeah, he, he's, he's an awesome guy. I had never met him before, but, you know, once he got in the clubhouse, he kind of, you know, said hi to everybody, kind of like, you know, had a little mini conversation with everybody to get to, get to know him and stuff like that. But, you know, bringing in a veteran guy like that to a clubhouse, you know, coming off of last season, um, just the vibe in the clubhouse is just great. I mean, we we're really looking forward to the season before, you know, everything got kind of crazy. But um, we signed a bunch of other veteran guys, too. So having all those older guys come to the clubhouse, you know, it's it's nice for me as a younger person to kind of, you know, talk to them about what they've been through over the past, you know, 10 plus years that they've been around that long. Just to like, you know, kind of relate to them and see like how how things are done and stuff like that yeah now it's time for the important stuff the uber questions did you have mints in your car by the way when you drove uber that's very important <laughs> i did not have mints but i had gum <laughs> okay all right it's good Thanks. and a 499 Thanks. rating we should yeah. say randy everyone knows a solid uber ride gets a what a five and a five. terrible yeah. one a one yeah okay. a one yep. on a scale of one to ten we have a little game for you and ariel ariel you're first how good a driver is Randy? Nine. One to five. No. One to, yeah, one to five. Four. 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 She left some on the table there, Randy. Can he not parallel yes, park? Like, what's what's oh, lacking? Like <laughs> no, he's a great driver. I just feel like I see things out ahead much quicker than he does, so I'm always like, <laughs> yes, car breaking. <laughs> well, most of the time I'm driving, I don't sleep anyway, so. Or I'm so good, Randy. One through five. How nervous does Ariel get when you pitch? Um, <laughs> a million. <laughs> oh man, come on. That means his love. She gets way more nervous than me, that's for sure. She's like, I don't know how you go out there and do it. She's like a nervous train wreck by her nails. <laughs> Shaking. <laughs> Ariel, like, one through five. How good a cook is Randy? <laughs> what did you say? Uh, Ariel, one through five. How good a cook is Randy? Mm, the things that he can cook, I would say five. Ooh, like what? Breakfast. Specialty. <laughs> Omelets, chicken. He can grill. What'd you have for breakfast? Nothing yet, but I'm sure he had an omelet while I was getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> Three egg omelet, put a little milk in it to make it fluffy, or you go See? no way. Yeah, she told me about the most part. I didn't know that. <laughs> Last one. 
Ariel, this is for you. One through five. How handy is Randy? <laughs> Yes. I can't. You guys, I can't. I can't. Uh, it writes itself, really. Um, <laughs> four. He's learning. Now that we have a lot of downtime, it's we're cool. uh, helping my parents with a lot of things and fixer upper. So he's learning to. If I, don't be handy. To, if I don't know how to do it. I'll try and figure it out before <laughs> I look YouTube it. More than I can say about my co-host, by the way, yeah, like I, two I, max. I just try it once, and if I if I can't get it to work, I'm like, well, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Tell us again how people can contribute to St. Jude's. Thanks for having us. Um, simply go to the website. Um, you know, if you go to stjude.com, you can pull up the website and there'll be a donation box right there. Um, we're still posting a lot of things on social media about it and trying to get the word out. Um, and I know, especially on Facebook, if you tag St. Jude in any way, um, there'll be a box that pops up and you can donate that way as well. Hey, and don't forget, uh, this shirt saves lives.org is a direct link as well. So that's, that's a great, great thing as well. <laughs> Thanks, Randy and Ariel, thanks so much. We appreciate the time. Hope to see you on field real soon. Take care and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for watching MLB Central Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We will be back midweek.